Good morning, good morning. How is everyone today? Well, let's see. Hi, I am Darla Morris. Thank you for joining me today. I am known as the Lazy Daisy Stamper and I live in beautiful Granbury, Texas. As you pop on today, please say hello and tell me where you're from if this is your first time visiting. I would like to know that. Um, I'm just waiting to see some comments here. There you go. Good morning, Mary Ellen. Nice to see you today. I hope things are better for you and the weather is better. So, yes, thank you for joining. Now, um, gosh, there's just um, gosh, so many things going on. My life right now is just crazy. I'm looking at uh, a Mohs surgery. You know what Mohs is? Well, it's when you have a basal cell carcinoma on your face. Ah. And then my husband's looking at back surgery. So we have a lot of things going on that are not pleasant. But this is a pleasant place to be because we escape. We get away from the woes of the world and we just smile and we create things that are just beautiful. Good morning, Louise. How are you? Good to see you here. Okay, well, I'm going to turn the camera down because uh, we've got some spinning to do. And then we will get started making some very cute little cards today, okay? I'm going to turn the camera down as soon as I can find that button. There we go. Okay, so yes, Chili Montana. All right. Good morning, Veronica. How are you? Landa, welcome, welcome. Okay, well, last week I made four cards for us, and we're going to spin two times today. Now, this is what I call my Wheel of Fortune, and you can see there's a whole lot of names on there, and then you're going to say, well, how did those names get on there? I want my name on there. Well, all you have to do is make a comment during my video, whether it's live or whether you're watching replay, doesn't matter. Make a comment, um, but most of all, share. When you share, your name gets put on this little wheel two times. Then at the beginning of May, I will make a an additional wheel that just for the people that shared my video. And they're gonna get a special prize from me. So make lots of comments, share, share, share my video. It doesn't cost you a dime to share and it helps me immensely. The sun is shining in Minnesota. Well, girl, I heard it was snowing up there. Maybe I'm confused with another M state. <laughs> I don't know, but good morning, Diane. Glad you're here. Okay, we're gonna spin. Now, the first spin, that person will win these two cards, okay? Now, something uh, special is extra. I am also going to include a kit to make this card. So this is just your basic supplies. You will have to supply like on the vellum. You will have to use your alcohol markers and 99% alcohol to create a background similar to this. Um, and you will have to also have a stamp set. But you know, you can substitute any stamp set that you have. I know, isn't that cool? Yeah. And the same thing with this one. You're going to get also a little kit. It's just the basics to make this card. 
So we're gonna spin to see who's gonna win these two cards, okay? So here we go, good luck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nancy. This, I think, is the first time Nancy has won. Now, Nancy is the sister to Onita, if y'all know Onita. So, I'm going to have to get the address from somebody, whether it be Nancy or Onita. But, congratulations, Nancy. Okay, now these are our next two cards, and they will also come with a basic kit to make a card. Same thing with this one. Now, I'm not going to do this every time. I just had some extra kits, so I thought, well, why not give those away as well? All right, so... Somebody's going to win this two sets. Let's see who it is. Hi, Terry. Welcome. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Miss Susan. Susan said that she will probably have to watch the replay today because she has out-of-town guests. All right, Susan, congratulations to both of you girls. So if y'all see Nancy or Susan pop on, be sure and tell them they won. All right, let me get this out of the way and we will get started. I have tried to clean up my area <laughs> You know, and every time I clean it up, it's like, it just gets all messed up again immediately because I run into things and I think, ooh, I want to make that. So, you know, I start pulling out stuff all over again. And then before you know it, I don't have but about 12 square inches on the, my desktop to, um, to work. Okay. I'm kind of doing a, um, I don't know, a last goodbye to some of our products that are leaving us. And if I'm not mistaken, Cactus Cuties is going away, which just really breaks my heart. But this is the card that we're going to make today. He's got some googly eyes. I did not um, use this cactus set near enough because it is so cute. Thank you for sharing, Terry. Thank you, thank you. All right, so again, cactus cuties. I also pulled out some of my in color designer series papers because this is going away. All of these beautiful colors are going away. I, I just, this one kills me. I love Cinnamon Cider, Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, Just Jade. Oh. It's very sad to see in colors go away, but then it's also exciting to see the new in colors come in so you know that's a, a love-hate relationship I have with that all right so we are going to make this little card um, so cute <laughs> it's kind of funny I forgot I had a punch for this hold on let me see if I can find that punch because uh, it would be nice to cut them out instead of, I mean, to punch them out in, instead of, um, I can't find my punch. I wonder why. Where is it? Oh, there it is. 
It was right in front of my face. Is that cute? Ah, love it. I'm gonna use this today. Um, now, last week, if you remember, um, I just made the four cards that we had in, uh, in my class on Saturday. And I'm doing it again, but I'm only gonna make two cards today because, you know, an hour long video is, is kind of long and I don't, I do value your time and I try to respect your time. So I'm just making two of the cards and this is one that I chose. I think it's just, I just, I love the cactus. I don't know what else to say about it. Okay, so here's our standard card base out of Early Espresso. And you know it measures eight and a half by five and a quarter, no, by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And you get two card bases from um, every eight and a half sheet of paper. I will get it out eventually. Okay, this is uh, Bermuda Bay, and that is our first layer, and everybody knows when I say first layer, the size. Five and a quarter? No, nope, that's not five and a quarter. This is five and a quarter. This is four inches. Ah, if my brain would work, we'd all be in better shape. Okay, this, um, and you know, I don't even think this is the current uh, in color paper, because they come out, I think this was the first, the year 2020 when this came out. I didn't get 2021 in color. So hold on, I gotta take a drink of coffee because it's gonna get cold. I don't think I showed you how to find me, did I? If you find anything today that you like and you cannot live without, please order from me at, <clears throat> pardon me, lazydaisystampers.stampinup.net. And please use this host code if your order is one under $150. Okay, we got some business taken care of. So, this measures two and a half inches by five, it looks like about five and one eighth. But I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. This is for the inside, but we wanna stamp something on it before we uh, Pardon me, my coffee is fighting back on me. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna attach this to the first layer. See, I've already run out of room. Okay. And I'm just looking, first of all, I'm making sure that my writing is the right way it's not upside down and then this is just a strip of um, early espresso which I adore I love well I love browns and beiges my sister-in-law always refers to me as beige whenever she buys me anything it's always beige because I'm, I'm really a neutral kind of girl. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my card base. I am working on uh, an email to send out to everyone. I'm gonna do a paper share from the new catalog. And if you are interested, uh, be sure I have your email because that will be going out in the next day or so. But you will basically get a sampling of 
every paper that's in the new catalog, which is pretty cool because that way you get a, a first of all, the catalog just doesn't do the paper justice. We all know that, right? Well, this way you'll get a sampling of every paper that's in the catalog. And then when you say, ooh, I love this paper, then you can buy a whole package of it. So it's a great way to be able to see everything. So I'm working on that. So if you uh, are interested in that, then be sure I have your email address so that you will get the email when it comes out. Okay, on this little thing, um, we're going to stamp, let's see, hold on. Where are my stamps? Did I put them up? Oh, for heaven's sakes, I put them up. See, that's what happens when you clean up. All right, I'm gonna use these two vases. Which one are they? Oh, they're not. Okay, I'm not, Never mind. I'm not gonna. I changed my mind because I want these particular vases or pots. I guess these would be considered pots, not vases. I want this one and I want this one. Do y'all ever do that? Use both sides? Well, when you're lazy, that's what you do. Haha. <laughs> No, not that, I want this. All right, let's see, I need this for sure. I think that fits on there. Yes, perfect. And just, nope, that one is what I want. Hope your day is on point. So cute for a cactus, right? Right. All right. I'm going to use, um, what am I going to use? Early Espresso and Bermuda Bay. All right. Let's start with a little Bermuda. Okay. You need to move out of the way. Tap, tap, tap. And straight down hold hold press straight up early espresso Pretty good stamping, y'all. And my little flower, I'm gonna put right over here because that one I can punch out. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna leave them open, which is danger, danger. But I'm going to fussy cut these right quick. These are really simple to fussy cut. I wonder, does that fit? Let me just look right quick. Not really, but you know what? It's close enough. I'll just use it. Ha! Ha! Okay, this one I need a little bit more. So, I'm just, well, I'm going to, because um, this thing is so sticky. There we go. Because I need to get right up in here, if I can, to get this. There we go. My paper's fighting me. Got to get the right angle on this. It fits just beautifully if you get it at the right angle. There we go. Ah. 
That was hard, but we got it. Okay, so we got this one. That one doesn't match, does it? It really does not. Nope, not even close on that one. So we will just snip, snip, snip. This kind of fussy cutting does not make me fussy, but most of the others do. I don't know if it's because I'm just impatient. I'm not a really good cutter, if you really want to know the truth about it. But, there we go. We got them. So now what I want to do is this little piece, which is approximately three inches by four inches. And I'm just going to lay these out kind of like where they're going to be so that I know where to stamp my stuff. And I'm first of all going to stamp my sentiment on the bottom in early espresso. And I'm trying to center it get it close to the bottom, straight down, press, press, straight up. Ah, lovely. Pretty good. All right, so we've got that there, and I want, I want to quit looking at this card, and I want to look, oh, that one's trying to get away. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh. Those are so good. Mmm. I need cinnamon cider. Oh, wait a minute. I've already pulled them. Just a second. Cinnamon cider going away. Breaks my heart. Okay. Cactus. Big cactus. So we want this approximately here. This doesn't have to be perfect because if it was perfect, I wouldn't be able to do it, right? There we go. Make a noise over here cleaning my stamps. Okay, so that one's going to go like a that, and then this one's going to go somewhere there. And I've got, oops, cinnamon cider. Both of my cactus are coming out in cinnamon cider. And that's going to go somewhere like that, straight down. Press, press, straight up. Okay. So far, so good. I'm popping these up. That's why I, um, you know, why I didn't uh, go ahead and attach them. So let's see. This one I can go ahead and put down. Oh, y'all, I had to cut all my fingernails off. They were absolutely splitting like crazy on me. And I have nubs, <laughs> literally nubs, and I can't do anything. Now this one, I'm going to put some Seal Plus on it because I'm going to wrap it in some twine just for some added texture. And you don't have to do this. I just thought it was something unexpected, you know? There we go. And we're gonna put some dimension on this baby as well. Okay. 
if my little nubs will get to working. <laughs> All right, that gives that uh, just some really pretty texture. which I'm all about texture and dimension. Okay, so this one here, I had just stamped it previously, but since I punched it, um, oh, I don't have any on that one. Well, good grief. I'm gonna put a little one on it. Oh, that's even too big. I'm going to have to cut this little one down. I may need my reverse tweezers for this because it's little, teeny tiny. Okay, gosh, <laughs> can't get a hold of nothing. Uh, since that one's gonna have the googly eyes on it, let's put that over there. And then where are my googly eyes? Hold on a minute. Now on this one, I used two different sizes of googly eyes, thinking it would be really cuter, but I don't like it like that. So I'm going to use the same size eyes on this one here. Or we could do a cyclops and just have one big eye. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, calm down, Darla. How about this one. I can't pick a stinking thing up. There we go. Let's do that. I got these googly eyes off of Amazon. Thank God for Amazon, y'all. If it weren't for stamping up in Amazon, I don't think I could make a card. All right, let me... I'm just so messy. And my glue is right here. And you don't have to put the googly eyes. That's just, I did it cause, you know, I have googly eyes and if you got it, use it. I wonder if this will help. Oh, it will. Look, I can pick it up. I'm serious. I've got issues with my nubs. I had uh, gel nails put on for vacation. And they were beautiful, I will say. I had beautiful nails. But oh my gosh, it has left my nails severely damaged. But to be honest, my nails were already severely damaged, okay? All right. Oh, so cute. Popping him up too. I'm using all of my edges. I think I love the edges on my dimensionals probably a little better than I love just, you know, the regular ones. All gone. Woohoo! It's a good feeling. Okay, here we go. Pokey tool. That'll get these off. I for, 
forgot to be looking at comments. Um, hi, Linda. <laughs> Cyclops, yeah. Oh, I thought it was kind of cute, but hey. Hey, where'd my card go? Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Ah. Sometimes. Okay, pop it up, pop it up. Oh. Can you see the dimension on it? That way you can. Anyway, isn't he cute? <laughs> All right. We want to put something on the inside. There we go. Cute little card. Absolutely. I think we're done with this one. I do have some jewels. I wondered if we could put some jewels on him somewhere. Where'd they go? The, oh, oh, here they are. Now these are the in color jewels that match. We can put, oh, let's do something like this. Let's check this out. If I can get it off, goodness. Now, I think these, uh, these uh, dots are just jade, but they look <laughs> like a great match for uh, Bermuda Bay. Give it a little bling. Oh. Eh. Man, these are hard to get off. They are going to stick till the cows come home. Ah, uh, Cute. I love it. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Thank you for sharing, Donna. I appreciate you. Okay. There's our first card. Now then, I will put those up later. I'm just going to set those aside. I think that's so cute. So cute. I'm going to put it back in its bucket. And we'll go to our next card. Now this one is a little bit more detailed and I, I did it a little bit differently um, because I didn't like that one. I thought it was too plain. But I'm using um, the flowering tulips and I'm really only using this particular die, okay? Because I wanted to cut these flowers out. And again, you guys know 
that I case most all of my cards because I'm just not that creative. This is the only die that I've used out of this set, but this set is lovely. And then um, I put that out of happy and heartfelt because I love this font. I think it is so beautiful and it's going away. So if there's, you know, we have our retiring list and you can find it on my website right there. So you can go and see what's going away. And if there's something that you've been wanting and you have been delaying, well, do not dilly-dally because they are going to go away forever. Okay, so the dies that I used, ah, here they are, to cut out this frame is this one, which is, that's the smallest, skip one, and then there's that one. So those two are the ones that I used. This one here, that one, and this one. And these are the stitched rectangles. And I believe they're going away too, boys and girls. I cannot believe it. I use these dies all the time. Love, love. Oh. You know, Stampin' Up! just does not ever ask me what they, sh what they should be doing. <laughs> now, that's kind of funny. But I don't understand their logic sometimes. Okay, so that's going to go for the inside. And our card's going to open like this. Now, this piece measures uh, 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarters inches. And it's going to go like this. This is what we call our second layer. I don't have a first layer. And then this one measures four and three quarters by three and a half. And that's going to go like that. So this is what I used to cut out my frame. All right? Does that make sense to everybody? Because this is going to be covered up. So make it take advantage of all of your paper, right? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and attach these together. Oh, I didn't want to put it in the center, Darla Carol. What is wrong with you? <gasps> well, I'm going to go ahead and attach this down because I can. There's no ribbon involved. Ugh. Okay. I know that some of you have joined since I uh, was saying that I'm uh, working on setting up a paper share for all the papers in the new catalog that's coming out. Um, so if I don't have your email and you might be interested in a paper share, be sure that I have your email so that you will get that. And it'll be going out in the next day or so. Now this is gonna go right here, and I am not gonna put this down yet, okay? I'm gonna do one of two things. Right now I am going to just kind of place it where I know it's gonna be, and I'm gonna take my pencil, and I'm gonna draw the inside square. Then, I'm going to take my embossing buddy, which unfortunately we don't carry anymore. And that is another one of those things that Stampin' Up! 
did not consult me with before they discontinued these? I don't, I just don't understand that at all. But you can do the same thing with a dryer sheet, okay? And maybe that's why. So I'm gonna take my Versamark, I'm gonna close this up, cause you know, oh, and I chose, we have to celebrate this. Is this it? Yes. Landa, you're back. You're, we are in luck stitch. Oh, they're not retiring. <gasps> oh, stitched. Oh, thank you, Landa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That makes me feel so much better already. For some reason, I thought they, they were. All right, I'm taking my Versamark, which is necessary. And I can see my light outline of where that's going to be. And I'm going to, hopefully, I wished it was darker. Well, I hope that's it, because it touched down before I wanted it to. Woohoo! Oh dear. So with Versamark, I'm gonna leave that and let that suck up, okay? But don't rock. When you have a rubber stamp, oh, don't rock them. You'll get that halo and it's not a good thing. All right, so I'm gonna take my white embossing powder. Gonna get loud here in just a minute, but it's necessary. <clears throat> here we go, gonna get loud. Maybe not too loud. the time I'm an overkill with my heat gun. I'm going to erase my... I know that it can't really be seen, but I'm going to erase it anyway. There we go. And it warps a tad bit, and it's probably because... Um, I kept it on there too long. You ever get those little frayed looking edges where you cut your paper? Just get you a fingernail file and rub across it. They go away instantly. Well, maybe not instantly, but very easily. I'll put it that way. I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, on the inside because it keeps falling out and getting in my way so we'll just I don't plan on stamping anything on the inside okay now let's work on our frame Oof. I 
I do want to get a, a scrap of paper and um, I'm just grabbing colors, okay? And I'm going to color my flowers. It doesn't matter the colors you choose, okay? Pick the ones that are your favorite. What is this? This just happens to be Rich Razzleberry. I'm not even sure I like that color, quite frankly, but it makes a pretty flower. Okay, and all you really need to do is die cut two of these flower um, dies out because that will cover it will go around your uh, your rectangle frame. There's that one. Let's see, let's try whatever color this is. Polished pink, oh gosh, I love this color. I really, 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 really love this color, especially in um, the alcohol inks. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I'm not blending anything, okay? And, and you could also do this with your Stampin' Write markers. You, you don't have to do this with your blends. No biggie. Okay, let's find some yellow. I wonder what pale papaya looks like. Ooh, oh, I like. And it doesn't take long at all to just slap you some color on these little flowers. That was dark pale papaya. Let's see, let's look at, what is this color? Let's see, what is this? Ooh, light melon mambo. Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of pretty. And you know, you don't even have to color them the same color like I'm doing. You can do whatever floats your boat. It's your card, right? Use the colors you like. The colors that make you happy. Okay, Melon Mambo, let's see. Let's put in um, what is this? Pumpkin pie. Dark pumpkin pie. Let's just see what that looks like. Hmm. I guess that's okay. Eh, let's just go ahead and finish it up with pumpkin pie. Okay, now we're going to do our stems in, what is this? 
Granny Apple Green. That'll work. That'll work. This is dark Granny Apple Green. And I'm just hitting these stems. I guess I could have had this all colored for you before I came on live, but I thought, you know, perhaps you would like to see it. And then I just uh, hit the bottom a little bit. Don't need much. It's really not going to show. Okay, that was dark granny apple green. All right, now then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this because of this curve doesn't work with a straight line, if you know what I mean. So, and we're going to be cutting this up anyway but we've got to have something to glue to, right? But we don't need much. All right, got rid of that, got rid of that. Let's get rid of this so we can see something. Okay, now I'm going to take this. <clears throat> All right, this is the right side, so I'm going to just place this and snip it right there. Separate the flowers. I'm going to trim off that end and I'm going to put glue right down here. Okay. All right. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> um, I think I'm going to take this piece and do the same thing. I got glue on my fingers. I hate that. Trim off this little end. And do the other long side. It uh, works best if you do both of your long sides, okay? And then do your short sides. This is real easy to do. I hope that I'm not making it look complicated because it is not. You know, the hardest thing is deciding on what colors to paint your little flowers. Then we're going to just cut these. I, I like to uh, trim up my flowers that I have cut and we're going to separate these because we need these for the corners, okay? We got four corners that has to be 
filled in. And that's sweet. I should have trimmed that up a little better, but nobody will notice, I promise. There you go. Oh, perfect. Now we are going to use my favorite product, which is the adhesive our double-sided adhesive strips and now I go all the way around I don't know that you have to but I want my frame to be perfectly supported in every way And this also helps hold down your flowers. Not that you need them because that glue is good stuff. Uh, some of the girls in class Saturday said, man, I don't wanna send this card to anybody. I don't like them anybody that much. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. They all wanted to keep this card for themselves because it was so pretty. Okay, voila. Oh, oh good. Whew. Thought I got something on it. But there you go. There is um, our little frame. So cute. And then all you got to do is take off your strips. And hover over until you ah, get it to where you want it and then just press it in place precious I got some holes I did not uh, punch out but you know you don't have to There you go. I don't know, what do you think about that? And I also Stella hit these flowers. There you go. Oh yes. Just a little sparkle never hurt anybody, right? Oh, you can't see that very well. But trust me, it's there. Okay. Oh my goodness. So which card did you like the best? The crazy floral or the cactus cuties? Are they cute or what? Love it. Okay. Goodness. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's class. I enjoyed making these for you. I hope that you will go try and make these. Uh, again, if you need any supplies, please holler at me. Um, I will be happy to help you in any way. So, uh, y'all have a great week. Send somebody a smile today, okay? All right, love you guys, and uh, hopefully I will see you next Monday. It's iffy right now, but we'll see, okay? Love you guys. Take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.